हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास फर्स्ट वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट क्लास ऑफ इंग्लिश टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज दैट इज इंग्लिश वन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज इंग्लिश वन डियर स्टूडेंट्स काइंडली ओपन योर इंग्लिश वन ग्रामर बुक ऑन पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन यस अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज चैप्टर फाइव एडवर्ब्स चैप्टर फाइव एडवर्ब्स children do you know what is adverbs adverbs explain the verb adverbs explain the verb adverbs explain how the action is done let's start reading the chapter number 5 and try to understand adverbs Open your books to page number twenty-seven, chapter five. Compare. A. Radha sings. Radha sings. On the other side, it is Radha sings sweetly. B. Mr. Lal paints. On the other side, it is Mr. Lal paints beautifully. C. Hari writes. On the other side, it is Hari writes neatly. Part D. The elephant sat. Other side, it is written the elephant sat comfortably. E. Time flies. On the other side, it is written time flies fast. So, children, how does Radha sing? What is written there? Radha sings sweetly. The word "sweetly" tells how Radha sings. It does add something to the meaning of the verb. Sings is a verb. How does Mr. Lal paint? Mr. Lal paints beautifully. How did the elephant sit? How does Hari write? How does time fly? So words like sweetly, neatly, beautifully, fast, and comfortably are called adverbs, which add something to the meaning of verb. Verbs are sings, paints, writes, sat, flies. I hope you all have understood this much. A word added to a verb to tell how the action is done is called an adverb. This definition we will be doing in our notebooks. Move to exercise one. In our syllabus, there are only two exercises: exercise one and two. Exercise one. Note down the date here. In the following sentences, pick out each word that adds something to the meaning of the verb and answers the question "how." I hope you all must have understood how. How does Radha sing? How does Mr. Lal paint? How did the elephant sit? How does Hari write? In the same way, these exercises we will do. Children, take out your pencils and start doing the exercise along with me. Number one. Rama writes slowly. So here the question is, how does Rama write? Underline the word slowly. Rama writes slowly. Two, Govin runs swiftly. Here the question will be, how does Govin run? Underline the word swiftly. 
Number three, Abdul reads well. Here, underline the word well. How does Abdul reads? Well. For the child cries loudly. The child cries loudly. How did the child cry? Loudly. Underline the word loudly. Rama walks well. How does Rama walk? Underline the word well. Number six, he writes well. How does he write? Well. Underline the word well. Number seven, Hari walks cleverly. How does Hari walk? Cleverly. Underline the word cleverly. Point number eight, he writes badly. How does he write? Badly. Underline the word badly. Point number nine. The team plays well. How does the team play? Well. Underline the word well. Number ten. The sun shines brightly. The sun shines brightly. How does the sun shine? Brightly. Underline the word brightly. Eleven. The river flows slowly. How does the river flow? Slowly. Underline the word slowly. Number twelve. The soldiers fight bravely. Underline the word bravely. The word bravely. Number thirteen. The child sleeps soundly. The child sleeps soundly. How does the child sleep? Soundly. Underline the word soundly. Number 14. The servant walks willingly. How does the servant walk? Willingly. Underline the word willingly. Turn your page to page number 28. Number 15. Radha works the sum correctly. How does Radha work the sum? Correctly. Underline the word correctly. Number 16. Fram hits hard. How does Fram hit hard? Underline the word hard. Number 17. He shouted loudly. How does he shout loudly? Underline the word loudly. Eighteenth, the boy dressed neatly. Underline the word neatly. How does the boy dress? Neatly. Nineteen, he speaks pleasantly. How does he speak? Pleasantly. Underline the word pleasantly. Number twenty, Akbar ruled well. How does Akbar rule? Akbar ruled well. Underline the word well. 21. The birds flew quickly. Underline the word quickly. How does the bird flew quickly? The horse galloped fast. How does the horse gallop? Fast. Underline the word fast. Underline the word fast. Check your answers once again. Number one, slowly. Two, swiftly. Three, well. Four, loudly. Five, again, well. Six, also, well. Seven, cleverly. Eight, badly. Nine, well. Ten, brightly. Eleven, slowly. Twelve, bravely. 13 soundly, 14 willingly, 15 correctly, 16 hard, 17 loudly, 18 neatly, 19 pleasantly, 20 well, 21 quickly, 22 fast. Children start reading along with me. Compare A. Hari will return. On the other side it is, Hari will return today. 
today. B. He is going to Varanasi. He is going to Varanasi shortly. C. I shall get a letter. On the other side it is, I shall get a letter tomorrow. Now see, when will Hari return? Today. Hari will return today. The word today tells when Hari will return. It does add something to the meaning of the verb. When is he going to Varanasi? When will I get a letter? Exercise 2. Now start doing exercise 2. Note down the date here. In the following sentences, pick out each word that adds something to the meaning of the verb and answer the question when. Here the question is when. Number one, frame rises early. Underline the word early. When? Number two, homie sleeps daily. When does homie sleep? Homie sleeps daily. I go to school daily. Underline the word daily. When do you go to school? I go to school daily. Underline the word daily. The two brothers often fight. When do two brothers fight? Often. O-F-T-E-N. Underline the word often. Number five. He will come soon. When will he come? Soon. Underline the word soon. as double O-N soon. Number six. The play will begin now. When will the play begin? Now. Underline the word now and no W. I shall come afterwards. When will you come? Afterwards. Underline the word afterwards. I am late today. Underline the word today. The servant is paid. Monthly, underline the word monthly. When is the servant paid? Monthly. Number 10, lately he has become lazy. Here, the adverb is in the beginning, lately. When he has become lazy? Lately. The first word is adverb here. Number 11, Rama came today. Underline the word today. Number 12, he arrived yesterday. He arrived yesterday. When does he arrive? Yesterday. Number 13, again read the sentence carefully. Once I heard the cuckoo sing. Here the word is once. Underline the word once in the beginning. Number 14. They lived in Mumbai formerly. Underline the word formerly. Underline the word formerly. Number 15. Abdul was doing his sum then. Underline the word then. Abdul was doing his sum then. When was Abdul doing his sum? Then. Number 16. We should never tell a lie. Here the adverb is in between the sentence. Where is the adverb? In between the sentence. We should never tell a lie. Underline the word never. Number 17. We should always speak the truth. Underline the word always. 
here again the verb is in the middle of the sentence we should always speak the truth underline the word always last is 18 i have already learned the lesson underline the word already when you have learned the lesson i have already learned the lesson underline the word already check your answers number 1 early 2 daily again 3 daily 4 often 5 soon 6 now 7 afterwards 8 today 9 monthly 10 lately 11 today 12 yesterday 13 once 14th formerly 15th then 16th never 17 always 18th already all these sentences are of the question when children i hope you all have understood the adverbs as the exercises are very easy to understand and learn read the sentence again and again thank you children take care as the weather is changing wear woolen clothes